Hello, what's up? This is Therna9. Tomorrow time we're doing another Uber Strike commentary. Yay! Now, a quick little thing before I start my topics I set up in my. Well, I'm really choppy, aren't I? Sorry. My uh, text head. Um. Sorry about the lack of in game sound. So, yeah. Um. um some reason didn't record, although I did press record in game sound. So I'm mad. Angry. And yeah. So, I have a couple of topics today. As you see, I'm playing on a very sunny, paradise y looking place. It's called The Lost. No, not The. It's called Lost Paradise 2. Well, that's the first one, but you can't really play it, I don't think. No, you can't. But, um. That's because it's the topic, one of the topics I am going to be talking about is about summer. So that would be cool, fitting, but the only, oh, um, if you ever play this map, it's suggested to play, like, I think it's, like, a more fun map. Play from, like, around eight minutes with, like, I don't know, like, eight people. Like, not that many people. It's not fun. It's, like, too many people, it's too crowded. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so to my topics. So I do not go to camp. Most of my friends are away. Actually, only one is in the city. It gets a bit lonely, and I haven't seen that one friend in a while. So it's gonna be like, I don't know, but it'll be cool. Catch up and all that good stuff. So that'll be fun, right? Now, since I'm not going to camp, you'd probably expect. I mean, like, more videos, but actually, there's gonna be less. Now, my mom said, Dad, they have a theater company, and I work as a PA, a production assistant. Now, that means I have to take over the props and, um, set up the, say, just like an outdoor theater company. So, it's, uh, it's really fun, it's amazing. I love it. Yeah, uh, it's really amazing. I said that before? Well, now you know. But it's very fun and actually it's only like two blocks away from the city. I mean from where I live, so it's cool. God, I'm just being really repetitive, sorry. So I'll make as many videos as possible, but sorry because like Oh my god, dude, sorry I'm just watching my thing my bobber. But, so, I'm gonna be busy. So, I'm gonna make vi as many videos as much as possible. But, yeah. Now, my brother, who's in ninth grade, is out of school. He got out on June 12th. Lucky high schooler. I have to wait until the 26th, 27th? Yeah, 27th. It's a Wednesday. But, I do have 20th. Yeah. 25th and the 26th off for no reason. It sounds like it's only a school thing, apparently. Like, since we'd had, we had, yeah, since we had no s snow days, it's like, oh yeah. So, my friend and I decided um, that my brother deserves to die for the state making me go to school for weird times and all that good stuff. So, every night he's like, he says to me, have fun going to school tomorrow, ha ha ha, I can sleep in. Well, yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit evil. Before I leave for school, I wake up and say, lucky you being able to sleep, we'll have fun for the day off, and he's like, die. Oh well, you know what, I woke him up, but you know, he's mean. So, do that to the end of, uh, to the end of the, basically, school. I'm gonna miss seventh grade, but if you want to hear my theme about Bobber about time, go watch it. Although this isn't really an order, this is the order I make them. But one, two, three, you can watch them in any order, just saying. But um so yeah. Time about sleep. I don't know. I was, there's sort of a odd transition. I am an awful sleeper. Like I need to be cold but have a blanket to warm me up but like somewhat warm you so it's like like yeah so it's always difficult like 
I also have to have like my feet and hands under like a blanket. And socks do not help about the feet thing. Like it's weird because like when I was little, I was scared that monsters could like pull me out, to kill me only by my feet and hands. Couldn't ever lift me up. Oh, that's just my logic. As long as my feet and hands were under blankets, never kill me. So, yeah. It's, yeah, it stinks. Um, I also need melatonin to sleep. For you guys who don't know what a melatonin is, melatonins are sleeping pills. So, I have been taking them every night with some exceptions. Usually every night, though. For about five years, wow. It's been a while. Hasn't really felt that much time you're crazy you crazy you yeah takes me one to one and a half hours to fall asleep with melaton without it it is two to three hours yep that's me well do you i hope that you guys are as terrible as me um also i saw something why do people say that they slept like a baby in like a good way it's like it's like oh how was your sleep oh i slept like a baby it's like oh lucky you and it's like, and, but babies wake up, like, every hour, middle of the night, crying and hungry. Well, most babies. So shouldn't that phrase mean, like, I don't know, like, bad night's sleep? So one of you guys asked me to do this topic, it's called cynic, well, no, not called, but it's cynic or optimist now am i a cynic or an optimist well here are my two little thing bobbers about them i think that it's easier to be a cynic now do not confuse the pessimism whatever it's called being a cynic is like seeing the truth whereas a pessimism is just like i'm sad sigh yeah they say sigh Whoa. <laughs> um, but I think that optimists, just my opinion, is sort of a fake world, like a perfect world where everything is all right. And oh god, sounds so depressing right now. But I mean, like they assume that everything's gonna be amazing and they're keeping all happy and etc. etc. Like it's, but when something goes wrong, like it's not very fun if you're not for uh. Oct- uh, uh optimist like it's not much of a letdown when you're a cynic like it sounds weird but really like if you let down some weird way and you're cynical then you expect it and you're like eh but for an optimist it has a bigger effect on you like oh if you do well on a test i think you failed cynics well would be Pleasantly surprised and be like, yay, I, I, I proved myself wrong. Whoa, whereas optimists are always happy, which is, it's, it's like, it's not a bad thing to be happy. Like, it's good to have a balance. I'm usually an optimistic person, where, except when it comes to grades, so I'm like, very cynical, like, <laughs> um, I'm not like, bad at school, but like, school's alright, but, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Sometimes it stinks. So, I'm going to tell you guys some things that annoy me because I was thinking about this. And because I was just discussing this um, recently. Like, the, th- the biggest thing that I hate is when people hate on things that they've never tried. My, th- well, the thing that people hate on in my life is music like i listen to a lot of independent music that well not barely but like not not kids my age or class have heard of okay that's fine but i hate when people well what, i hate when people hate on it because it's what they assume of it like i get pissed well my friends during math class she was talking about music how much she loved one direction i've heard some of their music well an album i yep um, so I listened to an album of them, 
just so I could judge them to see whether they were good or not, whether I could hate on them or enjoy them, and all that good stuff. I don't know. But, uh, not, not the biggest fan of the music, but, you know, I tried it. But when I told her that I like these with weird names like Panda Bear or Animal Cluster, she's like, I'll poop and start making fun of them. Like, duh. She's like, oh, Panda Bear's like, yep. Like, save the environment. Save the it's like, no. It's like, drive an eco car. That's actually her voice that she was doing. Like, you want to die. Die. I say die a lot. Anything that I'm about to judge, I try it. I try all of it. A crappy sounding book, I read it to the end. So I'm certain that it's bad. Bad moving ratings on a stupid looking movie, boom, watched it. A band that seems not very amazing, read the album. TV shows that look terrible, just like completely awful. I watched the first season, like, I watched the first season because, um, first episode, never that good. But I do want to get a storyline of it. Storyline of it? I don't know. Weird. Um, like, if you don't, then you don't have much right to hang on. Yeah. If you don't, like, check it out, then you, you don't have much right to hate on it. I'm uh, just saying. That was a bit of a, you know, interesting thing. You don't know, whatever noise you can just tell me. I'd be interested to know about it. My friendos. So, here's one last little topic. Well, not exactly the topic, but a little thing bobber. I'll tell you guys. So, there's this guy named Hollywood Hero who does Uber Strike and is actually much better than me at killing people. He's like a pro. <laughs> Anyways, he has started to do Uber Strike for his channel, but he also does Minecraft and Lord of the Rings online. And that game is cool. I love Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Although, I'm on Max, so I'm like, Err, Mac. Sometimes I hate Max, but I can always get, I'll uh, probably figure out a way to get for my Mac. Anyway, so that game is awesome, so check him out. He's really awesome. And I'll put his channel in the description below. So, last episode, I asked you guys if the ends justify the means. So, basically, does the goal that you accomplish justify how you got there? Basically, yeah. If what you did was bad, then my answer is n no. The no. Like the guilt, guilt is like one of the worst things ever. Just like I don't know. I'm the I'm one of the people who like. This is gonna sound very not fun, but I have regret. Well. By the stupidest things, I don't know, it's eh, bad. But like, I don't know. So, I think the guilt would kill me. And I'd regret what I did. So, that stinks. So, I'd rather be guilt free and not complete a goal than be pissed at myself. Like, very pissed at myself. Angry, pissed, I don't know. So, here's the nine question. Why do some people try because they're afraid of screwing up? Bleh, excuse me. Why do people not try because they're afraid of screwing up? Pretty straightforward there. So, yeah. Tell me what do you think if, if you want to. So, yeah. Um, a little thing about Bobber. This will, Oops Strike will probably come out once a week. Not as common as Minecraft, but it's all good. Now, just a little thing. Wait, but no, actually, no. That'll be next topic. But I'm wrapping up now. So, hope you enjoy my killing my deaths. I actually did two rounds. 16, no, 14 ish minutes. So, yeah. I'll see you guys later and hope you guys enjoyed. Bye. Alright, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that video, please like, comment, and or subscribe. It really helps me a lot. Now, the top video is the first commentary I made on Uber Strike. It was about copying in time. Pretty interesting video to say to myself. And the one below is how to get in Time Machine Over the Sea for your Mac. RPG game based off the album Airplane Over the Sea. Amazing album, amazing game. So, yeah. 
See you guys later. Bye.